Lori Harvey. Started with Trey Songs. Then it went to Justin Combs. Then it went to his father, <laughs> Sean Combs. Sean Diddy Combs. Then it went to Lewis Hamilton, the race car driver. Then it went to Future. Now she's with Michael B. Jordan. You skip Boo. Wait, you're Acom, somewhere? Brother. You're somewhere in that mix? Yeah, you skip Boo, Acom, brother. I think we need to stop giving the woman the power, you know, with, with situations like this. You know, girls keep saying it's goals, but we got to start. This is not goals. You know what I'm saying? We got to start giving the bachelors, the men who running through a, a beautiful woman like this to credit, who not housing her, running through her. Because most, you know, like Boo, and last time I went to Diddy House, him and Boo was together, you know, like they dogs. So you wouldn't marry a Lori Harvey? No, nah, I wouldn't. No. Well, you're not talking about I, I, I don't look for that in a woman, girls who, if a girl like that, I'm just trying to fuck her to, you know, tell my home. I wake up to all these Lori Harvey fans on my ass. Talk about I'm hating on Lord. What I want, what I want hate on Lord for. I just say y'all got it fucked up saying that's gold. If you saying that's gold, that means you want your daughter to fuck seven or eight, nine niggas in a couple months in the industry. If that's gold, if that's cool with you for your daughter doing that, then I can't say shit. But what's wrong with y'all motherfuckers is. Y'all salute the woman who get passed around. But y'all dog the woman who stick by they nigga when they nigga fuck over. Y'all dog the real bitches who stick by they nigga. You heard me? But y'all salute the bitches who go from hand to hand. The world fucked up. But the woman who stick by her nigga, find her one nigga, find her one celebrity and stick by that nigga, she stupid. The world fucked up. I'm just a speaker. The world fucked up. What? How men? Why men think the way they think like that in regards to women? Like, if a woman becomes too loose and she get to messing with too many men, I mean, yeah, too many men, and 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 and, and women think like, well, men can mess with a bunch of women and they consider to be a player, but if a woman mess with a bunch of men, she's considered to be a hoe. Why is that? By men, right? Why is that? It's because, first of all. We're not equal. We are the same, but we're not equal. And still, a man messing with a lot of women, I mean, a lot of women, he's a hoe too. It seemed crazy and it seemed unfair and it seemed uneven, especially from a woman's point of view. It's because women feel that you should be able to do everything a man can do. In one sense, you think that way. But in another sense, you don't feel like you should you should pay all the bills in, in, in the house and the man uh, work and don't have to pay no bills, he frowned on, right? You, you don't feel like the man should be able to take you out on a date and expect you to pay for the date. And even though he got the money to pay for it, you, you don't, you don't, it's certain things that, uh, and another thing, you don't, you don't, if, if somebody breaking a house, you don't think that the man should expect you to go investigate who, who might be breaking in the house or who, what it knows coming from outside. Or, or, or if, um, if, um, Somebody trying to do some harm to you, uh, you or, or, or do some harm to y'all. You you wouldn't think that the man should think you or expect for you to protect y'all, right? So my point is this here: is that there's certain things that come with the gender that whether we like it or not, whether we think it's fair or not, that's just what it is. That's just what it is, and we gotta embrace and accept that we are not equal. We are strong. We we, we are we are equal but unequal. And so women have some strengths that men don't have. Men have some strengths that women don't have. And so we can't expect to do everything that the next gender does and think that we're going to get the same view about it. Men can't do everything that a woman does. Men can't wear everything that a woman can wear. Men can't act away. Just, just, just imagine women that if a man um, going through pressure, you know, life stop, water, water stop. Like, like we going through in Houston, Texas, you know, just imagine that you in there with your husband or with your dude and he done broke down crying and just, oh, I can't take this. What is going on? And what, imagine he do that. And you still, you still holding it together and you got to be the one to say, hold on, baby, we, 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 just, I'm going to figure this out. Just, just calm down. So don't worry about it. We, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something. Just imagine if you had to do that. You're going to feel like there's something wrong with that dude. Even though 
it's very logical to understand that we all go through stuff. We all feel the same pressures. We all uh, 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 feel traumas and all that. But a man can't respond to it the same way a woman can, and it be looked at the same way. So understanding that while we are equal, we are not equal. And we can't do everything that the next person does. And so now, men view women different. I'm, I'm not, I don't even want to go into detail because I actually tried to make this video a number of times. And it's, just, it's so much involved with breaking this thing down in detail. But women, I mean, men by divine makeup view women just differently than women view women and differently than women view men and women view men in a way that men don't view men just by divine makeup. And so now understanding that is that for a man, when it comes to any woman that he values or become vulnerable to or love, can't no other man know nothing about it. Can't no other. He, this is the, the mindset of a man. He's so protective of her by divine makeup that he don't want men just to know her inside and out like that. He don't want like, I mean, no, he know some, somebody that experienced it, but it, it should, it shouldn't be guys. He, he don't want it to be guys that he know guys that he got to look at and deal with and talk to every day. He don't want that woman to be that kind of woman period. Why? Because he don't want his mother to be that kind of woman. And if his mother wasn't that kind of woman, then there are certain things that he got out of value for his mother that he's going to want out of his woman. Likewise, uh, a woman is going to have certain values she have for her father. If her father around, that she's going to want to have that same value for her man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm just trying to again just give out some perspective or broaden some perspective in regards to part of why Boosie said what he said about how he would have sex with her, but he wouldn't marry her. You know, it's because she's a beautiful woman. She's attractive, right? So he's going to have a physical attraction for her, but. In, in regards to do he feel that she's the kind of woman that protects him emotionally, uh, that reflects him as a man or makes him feel proud as a man, you know, um, that she becomes the crown for him. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's hard for a man to value that. And it may seem unfair, messed up or whatever it may be. And, and no matter how, how many women he may run through, it's still hard for him to value that in her. And she has the same right to view a man the same way. But it, 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 here's where women sometimes go wrong. is where you feel that just because you accept a man who's a hoe, that he should accept a woman that's a hoe. You don't have to accept it either. When a man is acting a certain way, doing certain things, just like you wouldn't accept him if his money ain't right, just like you wouldn't accept him probably if he has a, a physical certain makeup or whatever, whatever the case may be, you don't have to accept a man who, that you know, has a long track record of women. That a lot of, but uh, here's the crazy thing about women, women gravitate to men that are wanted by a lot of women. But men don't necessarily do that. Men don't gravitate to a woman that's, that's that wanted by a lot of men. Now, he, if he wants her, he wants her, but it's not because a lot of men want her. But for women, as soon as a lot of women want him, as soon as he get married or whatever, then women want him. So that, that's, that's something that y'all have to understand in y'all makeup and that you have to hold yourself accountable for and, and, and responsible for and stop looking for men to be held accountable for how, for what you accept. And, and expect for men to accept the same and say it's unfair. 